Here's how to succeed in trading options with bookmap data. Bookmap does not show options data. You cannot pull up the contracts within bookmap. However, we can use the bookmap data to provide insight on positions that we are looking to trade options on. So because I personally mainly trade SPY and QQQ options, what I do is use the S&P 500 as well as the NASDAQ futures through bookmap to give me an edge when trading SPY and QQQ options. And I want to show you guys two real life examples on how I use the data on bookmap to help assist me in identifying a high probability trade so this is a screenshot before the market opened and these were the levels i was watching for the day i was looking for a bounce down at this 5021 to 5006 level on the s p futures and then i was looking for a reject at 5103 so this was my demand zone and this was my supply zone as the market opened about 30 minutes into the market open price started to flush to the downside and you can see that i say right here main level i am watching is demand at 5021 497 on spot so because i had this previous demand zone on the s p 500 futures i was then using the book map data to help confirm that this is a valid level so you can see that i say seeing a lot of buy orders in the demand zone i have calls pulled up and will let you know if i take so here is this 5021 level which is where this demand zone is and as we can see using the book map data there are massive buy orders sitting down in this demand which gave me an edge in the market to tell me that this demand level is truly valid so using the confluence between having that demand zone as well as the buyers on book map i then was able to take this trade using the spy options and was able to capture this move to the upside here is another example of a trade i took using spy options but using the book map data to help give me an edge in the market and increasing the probability of a winning trade so my game plan for this day was to look for a reject on spy at 521 reason being that was the gap fill and typically i like to look for rejects or bounces when price fills the gap breaking it down to a five minute time frame you can see that price had a very large push through the gap entry all the way up into the gap fill. Now, what gave me the confidence to take this trade was as price started trading up into the gap fill on SPY using the S&P 500 futures data on bookmap, we can see that we started to get very large sell orders at the gap fill. So because I had that key level was watching that gap fill for a reject and then using the S&P futures data through book map and seeing that there are sell orders sitting up at that level that gave me the confidence to take this trade. So as a result, I ended up taking spy puts and was able to capture a beautiful move to the downside.